and greetings to all of you once again I have come online to discuss something in the light of the scripture the Bible is the only word of God and which is the light to the entire mankind not according to me but that is the truth and that's the fact nothing else Bible is the only word of God and in the light of that we are going to see the fall of mankind because the purpose of the scripture the Bible is to know since this is the word of God which is given to know the true God and also to know to whom it has been given it is given to me personally the word of God is given to me which is the entire Bible so I have to know God from the word of God and I have to know myself what the Bible tells me because the Bible tells that God has created me in his image and we see the world in a very miserable conditions especially now and there was a fall of the mankind and we also should know mankind is a race so though we see a lot of uh, diversities and divisions who is the cause of the divisions all divisions are caused by the devil but God is going to unify so in the light of that we are going to see a elucidative presentations the fall the intensity of the mankind's fall or the fall of mankind or we can say that as a ungodliness how God created man in his own image and he was supposed to be godly but he became ungodly and sinful and wicked and he started running away from God and how did this happen and how our internal faculties have been corrupted and the fall of mankind to what extent it has affected our internal faculties because we are not just simply uh, flesh like as we see we give more importance to the body but the scripture gives us more importance to the spirit we are more spiritual than physical so we give more importance for the physical so in that angle we are going to see that first and we will or see a sort of elucidative presentations to what extent it has affected so even in the fall if mankind can arise I mean plan to go to moon and Mars and everywhere then you see how the original creation of mankind could have been so God is going to restore us and we have a glorious hope in Christ so simply for your knowledge we are going to see that Hope you will enjoy this, but prior to that, and you can, you should have a Bible handy. Maybe it is very difficult to have a Bible handy. I recommend U version, which gives in more than thousands of languages. You can have that one in English. Many translations are available. So I strongly recommend. It is absolutely free, totally free. There is no charges. nothing you have to pay there are a lot of bible they are charging you in uh, apple store and google play store but this is absolutely free you can download and have it as you listen when i give a reference you can read that also so stay blessed father in the name of your son jesus christ i come to you as we are going to see the word of god and the fall of mankind and how you have restored us because the only way of restoration and salvation is through your son Jesus Christ which you planned even before uh, planning of creating us and keeping us on the face of the earth you have given only the earth for the habitations but mankind even at the state of fall he is trying to climb to the moon and mars and now we are in a very bad situation o oh lord just look into our situations but i know that you will your will be done and your purpose will be fulfilled 
and nothing is unknown to you what is going on down on the earth so in the name of jesus christ i bring it to your attention let your will be done and let your purpose be achieved i know that you will bring an end to the corona when and how we don't know but it is according to your plan that it will happen but help us to know as to who we are and what we are and what you have done to restore us back to you let your name alone be glorified for thine is the kingdom power and the glory i'll give you all the glory in your son jesus christ who is my lord and savior amen so let we will see that presentation so please come along with me and if you have the bible uh, have a open bible in your hand we'll just see that okay i invite you all this is where you see the fall of mankind or the intensity of mankind's fall manukulathin veechiyin alav so we will just see that in detail now first thessalonian chapter 5:23 it goes this way how does it read now may the god of peace himself see it is called god is addressed as god of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit and soul soul and whole body be kept blameless at the coming of our lord jesus christ so now we are in the time of corona invasion of the entire world so we have to prepare for the coming of the lord jesus christ so in order for that so our uh, we can just see that our uh, we need a sanctifications our we need to be holy and entirely preserved for the coming of the lord jesus christ okay so now and the god of peace himself sanctify you holy and may you are what do you have you have a spirit and you have a soul and you have a body see spirit soul and body because you have a body that because we are living in a material universe or material earth and we have a spirit because the god is spirit we have to commune with spirit soul is our personality that's what you so which has to be holy and in its entirety it should be sanctified and it should be preserved so that is very important in the sight of god so without which we cannot partake in the coming of the lord jesus christ so that is very essential for each one of us so consider this and don't take it light this is from first thessalonians chapter 5:23 and there are two words which strongly emphasize that mankind is not only physical body but he has he is a trichotomized man he has spirit soul and body first thessalonian 5:23 and thessalonians and hebrew 4:12 and if you happen to see in the old testament also we come across the entire temple is divided into three section one is the outer court then there is the holy place then again most holy place that actually it refers to one day i'll take that and try to elucidate that one outer court refers to the body holy place your soul and most holy place is your spirit that's where uh high priest and the priest go there and offer sacrifices every year so we need to understand let's see see for it says for the the is living and powerful and sharper than a two edged sword piercing even to the dividing apart of and a discerner of your thoughts and intentions see in order to being born again you need an agent which should be spirit and life and that has to go deep down that has to go deep down as a discerner of your thoughts and intents of the heart so now if you see for the word of god which is the bible bible is the only word of god which is living and powerful which is sharper than any two edged sword sharper than the surgeon sword knife 
piercing even to the dividing a part of your soul and your spirit and your body joint and marrow that refers to so you see so only the word of god which can convert you which can convict you so today they say we often see a sort of uh, conversion what is conversion nobody nobody can be converted unless a soul gives itself and to conversion or convicted or convinced of the truth so these two words one th first thessalonian 5 23 and hebrew 4:12 is strongly it speaks of the word of god which penetrate deeper into our personality and which bring about a great change or what we can say which brings about Uh, conviction and changes within that is why the word of god is very important from our side so now the next verse if you see uh, it's a trichotomized man man is a tripartite being and the bible also says in the book of psalm chapter 8 4 what is man the word mindful of him that's what the bible says the bible is asking what is man that God, you are mindful of me. See? So about him, if you remove the outer cloth, you will see only the physical body. But if you see deep through that, but this even the x-ray and the surgeon's knife cannot. Maybe the surgeon, when he cut open the heart, he would say, I did not find a spirit, I did not find a soul. So that is why the scripture only can, this is a short to each sword it divides us so man is a tripartite being and he has a spirit to commune with god because god is spirit and he has a soul that is personality and he has a body to live on the face of the earth in the material that is how god has designed and god has created us god has formed us and made us so you are a spiritual being you see the biblical order of a person is he is a spirit, soul and body, not otherwise. He is not body, soul and spirit. So we have to give importance to our spirit because the more if you see, as I have shown you this, 5.23 and 4.12 strongly emphasize. Word of God can penetrate deep down into your soul and spirit. And Thessalonians 5.23, it prepares the word of God prepares or God prepares you or you can prepare yourself using the word of God and train yourself and have yourself convicted by God the Holy Spirit. So the next word if you see biblical priority is I am a spiritual person more spiritual than physical then soul that is solical which may not be appropriate but that is our personality okay personality when i say i that refers to the soul or often time the soul is considered translated as life and if you body then it is a physical that is the one we give more important now physically most of us are locked down so we suffer physically but spiritually if you are a spiritual person you won't suffer much you will keep feed feeding on in the word of God. God will provide you because he has promised to give. If you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, he has promised you to provide uh, food and raiment. So you will not lack that by any means. God will see to that. So, so see that you are, you are a spiritual person. You have to give importance for that. And this is the soul. This is the these two forms the inner man, and this is the outer person which cannot inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible explicitly says the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, but He is going to glorify us. He'll give a glorified body, and using that you will inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. When we go to the next slide here. In the script with the scriptural reference, we are going to see now. Blessed are those who follow this. We know Genesis 1 1, which says, God in the beginning created, brought forth into existence the heavens, 
celestial body and beings and the earth which is the terrestrial body and the beings so that is what genesis 1 1 says so now we know god this represents god there is one god but he is uh, three persons three persons but one god that's what i'm just trying to explain one god who is called father son who is christ and the holy spirit they are not three gods but they are one god one god with three personalities this is how the bible explain more than that i cannot explain this is the truth so only the word of god can bring the god and you so as you may understand him in the light of the scripture the god throws light touching him to you through his word so now he created man in his own image he created man in his own image and he put his signature on him see we have seen that already spirit soul and body so i'm going to uh, mark it as a representative circle isaiah 43 7 if you say god says everyone who is called by my name whom i created you see whom he created adam was created and he was created male and female that's what it says so he created us he brought forth out into existence out of nothing that was our inner person and then for my glory whom i formed and made architecturally he formed us he formed us he gave us a form the form that we have in the physical body is also it was the physical body what you see there see this is the this is the form that he has given us and also eve also he gave the same form but the making is a different one now i will just give a representation see i'll just give uh, the spirit a circle in order to elucidate that one so this uh, this is uh, this represents the spirit if you happen to see it as the inner circle and you have a spirit knowledge and intuition and conscience these three are there then in the soul you have i'll put another circle to represent it and soul is otherwise called the personality see we can just see that the personality is your soul that's what your self and then it has a mind it has a it has a mind so you know what the faculty of the mind is then the mind it thinks and you have a will will what does it say it purpose or you decide according to what you thought are you reason together isaiah says come let us reason together so that is what the mind is reasoning together that the mind is usually blindfolded by the devil we will see later on so will purpose and the emotion it actions you see your personality you are a thinking being you can reason together and you can purpose according to what you think or you can decide and according to what you decide you can act this is what exactly the personality every person behaves that one now if you have to receive christ also by thought and by purpose and action you have to submit all whether you humble or you have a pride all and these faculties are exercised so we need to know about it that this is the very important aspect of it your personality spirit is to commune with god now we are going to see this your mind can be instructed your thought pattern can be instructed now you are receiving instruction from me in the from the light of the word of god so your purpose what can it be it can be directed your will can be directed and now then again your emotion can be controlled see your mind can be instructed and your will can be directed and your emotion can be controlled and this is what your personality a personality development and a psychiatrist or the one who is the treating physician psychiatrist 
everyone who is a doctor doctor is one who knows the entire person including his internal faculties because doctor is one who is teaching the doctrine of a man so he should know the doctrine of the man in 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 the entirety and he should give him instruction in the light of the scripture that's why for a christian to be a doctor is very essential and biblical principle must be applied to every person i am not talking about the surgeons okay so now we have a physical body your body also I'll, i have put a circle which has a inner circle now this is body spirit soul and body so in your body you have a cns and brain you have the central nervous system and which constitute your brain and nervous system and everything then you have skeleton that is scaffolding your skeleton that in order to have your shape form and everything then it is clothed with the flesh having done that and there is a internal heart heart supplies everything and your physical body you have a heart and now i have given holy spirit now at this god breathed into the nostril and this he became a living soul now he became a living soul so we have two forms of life you see the heart is pumping up only blood it cannot think it can't do anything you bleed the blood the man will die spirit will go to god soul will go to its own place by its choice if it is in christ it will go to heaven or paradise okay now we have two forms of lives that's what we are going to see now life which is called zoe you can see spirit that is something hs i have put that is the law of the spirit of life or we can call it as a holy spirit or you can call it as the spirit of christ the bible says anyone who does not have the spirit of christ does not belong to him so the having the law of the spirit of life that matters to anyone to be a christian okay so that is what i have specified given there as life life one is the zoe life which is this one another one is the life in the blood that that talks about the flesh life okay now if you happen to see roman 8 to 10 and leviticus uh, let me read out leviticus 17 11 for the life of the flesh is in the blood and i have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your soul for it is the blood that makes atonement for life so animal also has the same life in the blood mankind also has life in the blood but if you see roman uh, 8 2 and 10 roman 8 8 to i'll read for the law of the spirit of life or we can call it as the holy spirit or the spirit of christ has set you free from free in christ jesus from the law of sin and the law of death so that is what exactly the zoe higher order life we can call it as and again in the words 10 also you can just see that but if christ is in you although your body is dead because of sin the spirit is life the spirit is life the spirit of christ or the holy spirit is life because of righteousness if you have christ you have righteousness and because of that the life became so the adam and eve when they were in the garden they established the relationship see the god the spirit is communicating through the spirit and they subject to him subject means the through the love they because he is the creator and there is a relationship but the fellowship also could have been there but anything that is produced we subject to strict quality control analysis or quality control so that is how god has given complete right every right for us we can stay with him or we can be away with from him but god has a plan for us so god has given complete right a simple commandment the day that you eat the fruit of the tree that is the knowledge and 
good and bad you will die so did they die you will see physically they did not die but spiritually they died that's what you are going to we are going to see see many questions will be answered here when you elucidate and study okay we are going to see that further now god has established communication with adam he had he was coming in the cool of the garden and he was communicating with them they had fellowship he created and the fall came immediately no there was a time adam and eve they had fellowship with him for some time until the devil came in their way and he they were not deceived immediately repeatedly the devil would have been persuaded the bible very clearly says adam was not deceived that means he was tempted and he was subjected to deception and he has overcome now the companion who was given to anna adam who is eve through her the deception came and adam also transgressed so by deception and transgression the sin entered that's what we are going to see see now god is a spirit being so we have to establish communications god has established through spirit and our personality has to commune with god and we are kept in the earth which is a material universe and that is why we have spirit soul and body the important aspect in this is your personality mind will and emotion or thought purpose and action that's what is to be precious for you so now we'll just see further now what happened at this level the sin came sin we have to explain very well. i have already told you how did the sin came through the satan satan is a tempter he is a schemer and he is a deceiver god did not tell them that there is an enemy but they were subjected to it so the sin entered at this level so devil is uh, satan is a one he rebelled against god he was thrown out i have already taught you that so here the sin entered at this level and then the spirit of christ left him but still the communion was there and there the darkness fell on the spirit this is the beginning of fall then the whole spirit was darkened you see hebrew now the zoe life is has departed and spirit became dead now hebrew 914 if you happen to see what does it say you see how much more see it was talking about the animal's blood now he further how much more will the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to god purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living god so without having your conscience blood uh, cleansed by the blood of jesus christ none can serve the lord that is the primary aspect of service to god you have to and the aspect of conscience is what is good what is bad what is right and what is not right and many thing so the uh, the purpose of conscience and the faculty we should understand properly so that is why hebrew 914 it says we should have now the spirit became dead okay now which affected the mind will and emotion also and now if you happen to see second corinthian 4 4 which very clearly says so in their case the god of this world which is the satan and the devil has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of christ who is the image of god so the devil's work one of the primary work is he is blinded the minds he blinded the minds of the believer second corinthian 4 4 this is what he does conscience now defiled and darkened and mind also became darkened now the communication was cut off so they were running away from god now you see until then they were with spirit soul and body i have given the arrow the relationship was okay now the darkness has come in the spirit and also which affected the soul especially blindfolding of the mind now and this is what exactly heart see this is this portion 
this conscience and the mind is the spiritual heart conscience and mind which is the spiritual heart as far as the scripture concerned and now in the soul there is an inner circle came this is what the intention of the devil to separate you from god who created mankind in his own image so the inner heart was darkened defiled and blindfolded and the communication with god was cut off and adam and eve when they when they heard god was coming they said they were running away from him because they could not stand in his presence because of the darkness to which they have yielded that's what it says colossians chapter 113 if you read you will find god has translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light which is the kingdom of his dear son you see scripture is very plain clear about it this is what the salvation which god has performed in us so this is the heart now jeremiah 17:9 he put the eye into him that if you happen to see in the book of isaiah chapter 14 and uh, ezekiel chapter 28 which i have already we have seen he say i will exalt above the throne of god above the hills of god i will exalt he can say three five times almost five times he has said i will i will i will he put that i or the pride or the selfishness into adam and eve so the soul was without it and he instilled that i into them and that as jeremiah 17:9 if you read what does it say the heart is deceitful you see the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick who can understand it it is god who knows our heart god knows our heart that's what desperately wicked it says our heart every person who opened the womb has the same same one however holy your parents may be however rich you may be however you may be poor also every child that is born is born after the similitude of this with the heart condition is the same one and having an eye you can see there is a selfishness you have to teach what is right and wrong you don't need to teach what is wrong but naturally it will have a evil heart but you have to teach every child <coughs> that is why parents saw that now let's see further so at this stage there is a total depravity fall on mankind total depravity in the sense efficiency 417 to 8 let me read out because this is what a person now this i say and testify in the lord that you must no longer walk as the gentiles do that is total depravity in the futility of their minds you just see your mind is futile in the futility of the minds they are darkened in their understanding that means your conscience is darkened and alienated from the life of god you see the life of god is separated which is holy spirit has been removed alienated from the life of god because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of heart the inner heart was hard and or you can say the hardness of the heart brought about an ignorance and you were alienated from the god you had no understanding you were darkened conscience and your mind became futile this is what the gentile people godless people or ungodliness ephesians 4 17 18 speak about the ungodliness with which you were born the moment you give your life to christ you are restored back to a uh, become a spiritual person that's what the so now the total depravity every man who is born in this world his mind is darkened and his will is enslaved to devil he cannot properly direct and also his emotion 
is degraded see at this level but but at this level also but at this level at this level what you can do you can see at the total depravity mind will and emotion darken enslaved and degraded you can go to moon you can go to mars does not mean they are big shots you may be rich maybe you ho have the whole world in your hand alexander he had the whole world but he died a young man so you have to know about it this is the total depravity of man now you see this also has changed and man showed his body soul and spirit the priority has changed here it was spirit soul and body now it has become body soul and spirit he is no more spiritual so now god has given hand to us so this is what is being in adam efficient 212 if you read that also talks about and you were dead in trespasses and sin our former manner of life before you come into christ in which once walked following the course of this world in the ulagathin karyangal course of this world following the prince of the power of the air the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience in the entire world now devil is at work that's why first john chapter 5 19 says the whole world is under the wicked sway of the evil one now you see in the second person of the triune god is second person of the triune god it is activated it he is active always he is active even before creating mankind god appointed a lamb of god that is in christ so he did not forsake us but in his son he decided to rescue us so what happened the isaiah 48 16 if we if you read that one let me read it for you Isaiah 48:16 Draw near to me hear this from the beginning i have not spoken in secret from the time it came to be i have been there this is talking about christ and now the lord god has sent me and his spirit see the lord god lord god and his spirit sent me this is the words of christ so christ was ready to rescue us from the fall that's what 48 16 so now what happened christ came down it does not mean he vacated he is omnipresent omniscient and omnipotent the christ visited in flesh and blood who we became the adamic race now we separated ourselves from god and the entire adamic race fell into transgression which you are going to see our position now in adam we are one race from one person we all of us came see in adam we are powerless roman 5 6 this is what we became after the fall 5 6 for while we were still weak or helpless or powerless at the right time christ died for the ungodly this is what the bible says So Roman 5 6 says that we are powerless we are weak and we are helpless. What does 5 8 says? 5 8 says but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners Christ died for us while we were still sinners so we were powerless and we were sinners that is the time Christ died for us. And also Romans 5 10 also tell something see we became enemies of god for if while we were enemies we were reconciled to god by the death of his son jesus the christ much more now that we are reconciled shall we be saved by his life jesus said i am the way the truth and the life we will be saved by christ you see this is your position every person who is born may be very beautiful white or black or brown or yellow whatever it may be they are powerless in themselves to save and they are sinners separated from god and there is the gap between god and man and we stand enemies of god and this is the work the devil did 
in Adam and from Adam we all have come. Oh, so that is that that is the truth the Bible brings. So that is what I elucidatively want to teach. Now further if you say from Adamic race we have been transferred into the kingdom of his dear son Christ and then you became helpers. You start helping others. Now you are being helped. Okay. Then you became a saint. The moment you receive Jesus Christ you become saint. You are rooted and planted in Christ and you become saint not because of anything that is in you but because to whom you are united. Christ is being worshipped as holy, holy, holy. So you became holy instantaneously and by the one and the only sacrifice he has given, he made us holy and we are holy positionally. And also not only that, we became God's enemies from that state, we became God's family. See what a great help, what a great thing Christ has done for us. In him we are helpers, saints and God's family. So without him, out of him we were in Adam powerless, sinners and God's enemies. But in Christ we became helpers, saints and God's family, part of God's family. So now the value paid, God's glory prioritized you see. For you were bought at a price, that's what Acts 20:28. 20, we all were given a price. We are in slaves, just like a, buying from a slave market, redeeming us, bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit. That means your soul, your personality must give your body to worship the Lord and to obey Him and your spirit must glorify Him, worship Him, which are God's. Your body and your spirit which belong to God because he has purchased you. He bought at a price. You don't belong to you. This is the truth. That is why we have to introduce Christ. We have to witness to the whole world, Jesus said. Again, if you happen to see, our value is Christ's blood. 1 Corinthians 7, 23. You are bought with a price. Do not become born servants to men, whether rich or poor, men or women, great or less, you give yourself to the Lord. Don't become born servants, slaves to men, however greater they may be. But you honor each one of them according to their position. Maintain a, a peaceful relationship with everyone. And do you belong to Jesus Christ is a question. 1 Corinthians chapter 3.23 and you are Christ and Christ is God's. See, there is a direct relating relationship. It doesn't say you belong to somebody else, other church, this church, that party, this sect and another sect. And you are Christ and Christ is God's. That's what it says. So, yeah, the moment that you received Christ as your Lord and Savior and Redeemer, you become God's in Christ. This is what called gap. There is one God and one mediator between God and man, that is Jesus the Christ, God-man, we have already seen. And now, the end result, 1 Corinthians, this is a salutation by Paul, very clearly says, If any man love not, if any person who love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema. Two strong word here he is using, Paul. See, anathema maranatha. Anathema means cursed is the one who does not love the Lord Jesus Christ. Maranatha for behold he is coming. That's what he says. Behold, Jesus said at the end of the Bible, end of the word of God, that is revelation, he said, behold, I am coming soon. Behold means leave behind everything and look unto me, I am coming. Keep looking at me or fix your eyes on Jesus Christ and follow him. That's what it says. Okay, if any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be cursed. Be Maranatha, he is coming. The Savior, the Redeemer, Lord Jesus Christ is coming. He may come at any time. So let us be ready 
unless otherwise we are ready we may not be able to be part of the rapture so let us give ourselves make ourselves ready to join Christ Jesus in mid heaven and stay blessed having listened to you you can pass it on to others too so stay, so others can be blessed and you also shall be blessed let that be your ministry god bless you you have seen the presentation maybe whether you like it or not it is an elucidation of the fall of mankind how god created adam in his own image and through the deception and transgression all our faculties was corrupted our spirit became dead our mind was darkened blindfolded by the devil second corinthian 4 4 so that is one reason people cannot give heed to the gospel of jesus christ because only the gospel of jesus christ can open their mind and set the people free and jesus christ in jesus the sin has been done away he became sin and set aside and he released us and the consequence of sin is the death or the wages of sin is death it says so jesus tasted the death and he has done away in christ it is done away so positionally the death has been swallowed up in victory by christ devil also has been permitted but he is powerless when you stand in the name of jesus he is powerless use the name of jesus christ but you should belong to jesus christ you know there were high priest children the uh, uh, priest sevas children they said in the name of paul's god uh, paul was preaching christ so they were telling in christ whom paul is using we rebuke you so the devil overcame that high priest children sons so you have to become one of uh, christ co-heir christ brother or god's children and then use the name of jesus christ and stay and lead a victorious life in christ name you can do that so is a stay blessed in christ and be a blessing for others during the time of corona and this is one of the good news for anyone maybe if you are affected by corona you will die god brings a deliverance to the entire mankind in his own time but he sown way in order to fulfill his purpose that is how we will be out of corona fear corona fear is nothing but the fear of death so you have the fear of god give yourself to christ and escape the fear of death and you will live with christ forever in the heavenly places which is promised only in christ jesus this is the word of god and this is the truth from the bible and this is the elucidation of paul i mean and from the bible fall fall of mankind and having understood that if it is useful use it for you again and you transfer it to others for them to be blessed god bless you father i thank and praise you in the name of your son jesus christ let everyone stay blessed having the kingdom blessings so righteousness joy and peace in the holy ghost because joy we can have only in fellowship with father son and the holy spirit which is established by the spirit of christ only so that in the time where there is no joy in the time there is a fear of death and in the time the whole globe has sink has sunk into the corona of fear let them receive christ and stay comforted because of the name of jesus christ all glory to you amen stay blessed in christ